Good day on YouTube, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm going to go real brief with a, a little devotional today um, on the topic of honesty and integrity and some scripture verses. I'm going to go through some scripture verses as I go along. I love the Word of God. I believe that the Bible should be the final authority in any matter. I believe that if we follow the blueprint of God's Word, we would do so much better as Christian friends, as churches, as we would let our light shine more instead of going on our own emotions and feelings. So today I would like to talk a little bit about honesty and integrity. In light of the snowstorm here in the Northeast, um, I, I might be getting called to go to work tomorrow morning, three, four o'clock in the morning, and the temptation is to call out sick. The temptation to say to myself is, you got seniority, you have a lot of years, you can call out, let someone else do the work. But Matthew seven sixteen, our Lord Jesus Christ said that a tree is known by its fruits. And one of the fruits that we need to show to the world um, is being truthful and honest. Lord Jesus Christ said in John 14, 6, that no one would come to the Father because he was the way, the truth, and the life. The truth, brothers and sisters. John 17, 17. Jesus Christ said, Sanctify them by thy word. Thy word is truth. You see, by nature, we're liars, brothers and sisters. We try to scheme. We try to get over on people. So what does the Bible say? 2 Corinthians 8, 21. For we, are, for we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of man. Our Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew 23, that the two greatest commandments were to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. See, brothers and sisters, when we lie to man, whether it's a boss or a co-worker, with a snowstorm as I'm dealing with right now, the tendency is to want to get over and scheme. We're not doing this only to man. We're doing it to God. Colossians 3.9 says, We are not to lie to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices. Brothers and sisters, as I was saying, that's the old self, to lie. That's what Colossians 3.9 is saying. But 2 Corinthians 5.17 says that we are a new creation in Christ. Luke 6.31, do to others as you would have them do to you. My brothers and sisters, I have to ask myself, would I want everybody else to call out sick tomorrow to shovel snow and then leave it to me or a couple other people? You see, we are to act towards others as we would want them to act towards us. If we followed that blueprint from what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, we would be so much better off. Our relationships would be so much better. But you see, we live by the trinity of man, me, myself, and I. It's all about me. iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch. You see, it's all I, I, I. It's all centered on I. The middle letter in sin and pride is I. But we are to do unto others as they would do to us. Philippians 2, 1 to 4, brothers and sisters, to have the mind of Christ is to think of others more than yourself. And who was the greatest example of one who thought of others more than himself than the Lord Jesus Christ, who came not to be served by others, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. The book of Proverbs is really rich and deep um, when it comes to so many areas of life, the tongue, anger, whatever. But I want to go through a couple of verses, and I hope it'll be a blessing to you all when we deal with honesty and integrity. Proverbs 10, 9, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. There was an old fighter years ago by the name of Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, great heavyweight champion. He had an old saying about his opponents, they can run, but they can't hide. You see, brothers and sisters, when we take the crooked paths in life, you will be found out. Many people try to take crooked paths and try to lie and scheme on their spouses, their taxes, whatever it is. They go into their little hotel room or they change the uh, code on their cell phone or block whatever they do, security, so no one can see the, the, that mistress or that other guy that's calling them. But brothers and sisters, there's two things you can't run from. Well, two people. Well, one, God, and two, your conscience. That's all going to be behind you, no matter what you try to do. So you can run, but you can't hide. Proverbs 11.3. 3. 
The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. You hear what the Bible's saying, the word of God. Brothers and sisters, it's better to have integrity in your heart. Be honest. It might be painful to you, but in the long run, it'll be beneficial. Not only to you, but to all those that are around you. Proverbs 12, 17. An honest witness tells the truth, but a false witness tells lies. I wish the social me I wish the media and the news would listen to that verse. An honest witness tells the truth, but a false witness tells the lies. And how many lies are being told on TV and on the news? Proverbs 12:22. The Lord detests Listen to this. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. An employer loves nothing better than to have an employee that is trustworthy. I'm not the best cleaner. I'm not the best maintenance worker. But one thing by the grace of God, and I give him all the glory that my bosses like about me, is that they know that they could trust me, that I'm not going to try to steal something. I'm not going to try to steal time as much, you know, we all take the little breaks, but they know that they could trust me with the machines and the equipment in the, in the school. They don't have to follow me that I might steal something. So to be trustworthy, brothers and sisters. Finally, one more scripture verse, Proverbs 14, 5. I don't want to take much time. An honest witness does not deceive, but a false witness pours out lies. Again, brothers and sisters, when the Bible speaks or repeats something, there's, there's importance to that. Do you see how many times in Proverbs the Bible speaks in that beautiful book of Proverbs about lies and truth? Speak the truth, brothers and sisters. I love you in Christ. Keep us in prayer. Uh, here in the Northeast, we are under another snowstorm. And to be honest, as you get a little older, the bones, they creak and they, 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 they creak and crack a little bit more. But God makes a way. God bless you all. Take care.